today I did like a live and I was cooking or whatever and I had made pina coladas and but I didn't show myself making the pina coladas so everybody was interested on how I make my pina coladas and I figured I'm gonna make a video and I'm gonna show y'all how to do it this way y'all can enjoy it too you know sharing is caring I'm gonna share my little recipe you know and y'all can try it oh I forgot I forgot an ingredient one ingredient <laughs> so yes I put ice cream in it um, and you, it's I only put a little bit like a, a big one scoop I you can use a spoon or you can use a, a scooper doesn't matter I just use like one big one of this nothing too crazy so I did half a can yesterday so I have half left and I'm gonna just dump this bad boy get yourself a nice blender right here Pour it, pour it up, pour it up. And just let it, let it empty out. Get everything, you know. Then you get yourself some pineapple juice right here. Um, you want to get everything out of here, baby. Air tank, air tank. Get it nice. All right. So I got cleared it out. I'm gonna rinse this out. This, yo, let me tell you, you don't want to spill this anywhere. So, oh, so they didn't. Usually, I get Coco Lopez um, brand, but they didn't have it. So I got the Goya brand. And it's cream of coconut. Um, you don't want to get the milk, coconut milk. That's not what we're looking for. You're looking for the cream of coconut. Or you can get the um, Coco Lopez one. That is good also. Then you take some, some pineapple juice. I like to mix it up. Um, mix up my, my pineapple juice, right? And then you just... I gotta wipe it. I'm sorry, guys. All right. Then you just put a little bit. Not too much. Just enough. And being this is only for me, then you know. So yeah, I just put a little bit, kind of just to um, cover the top layer because it sits on top. I'll show you guys. So you, see, so you see how it sits on top here so just a little bit just to cover that you don't want it too too much and then you take your ice cream and you just scoop that baby right out So I just take it like about that much ice cream. Y'all see? Like that much ice cream. And you just drop that baby. Or right, maybe I'll just take a little bit more. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Like that, a little bit. Drop it in there. And you are good to go. So I mix it like that first. Oh no, no I don't. I'm gonna put some ice in it first. You can do it either way. You can put, mix it like that first or and then add the ice. I got my ice in here. Or you can add the ice first and then 
mix it. So I think I want a little more ice. So we're gonna add some more ice. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit more ice because I like mine very slushy like. Then you cover it. And you're ready to blend this baby up. So on my um blender here, did I plug it in? Yeah. I have a frozen drink option. I just hit that like this. So it was mixing. <laughs> so let me see. I like to check it out first. I still see some chunks of ice. So I'm going to go and I'll put it on high ice crush. That's how you kind of want it to mix. Once it starts mixing everything like that, then you know it's pretty much good to go. So, I'm gonna swish it around. And this is like perfect. I'm gonna show you. Perfect consistency right here, guys. That's how I like it. Where's my spoon? I lost it. Let me get another one. So, I'm gonna. Oh, yes, this is like perfect. Look at that. Oh, it's like a freaking smoothie. Oh. That's good. <laughs> Alright, so. I'm gonna put some in this glass. A little bit here. Hold on. I think it's because my daughter wants some. So being she's not 21 yet, she's going to get a virgin pina colada. I'm only giving her a little bit because she probably I don't know if she's gonna like it or not. And then, rinse it off, pop a straw in it, and that's for her to try. And then, oh, my last ingredient. a little bit hennessy in it you could put um bacardi rum um so i just put a little bit a little splash or two and then cover it back up mix it on high Good mix. Good. 
smells delish. And then you just pop that bad boy right up in here. Like that. Now if you want to be extra fancy, you just garn you can garnish it with um a slice of pineapple. I don't have it. Or you could a slice of mango or something. But I don't have it. So yeah, that is how I make my pina coladas. Go ahead, try it for yourself. Let me know if you tried it, if you make it, did you like it? Let me know in my comments and uh, that's it for my video. <laughs> so I guess I will catch you guys up on the next one. Like always, getting my straw. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below because I do read your comments. Also, don't forget to check out my Patreon page which is patreon.com slash jasmine guzman and my webpage, which is jasmine guzman dot i can't say the rest uh so go check me out on both platforms um also i just opened an only fans so you guys can check me out over there too uh it's only fans.com slash jasmine guzman that's it the links should be in my description so make sure you go show me some love and support Laters! Visit my Patreon where I post exclusive content.